Hey, welcome back in everybody. I uh, appreciate you coming in and joining us again today. Uh, Steve from Swamp Bottom Baits. And uh, I've got an order to make up uh, four bags of baits. And we're going to take you along with making of those. Um, a little housekeeping first real quick. Uh, if you're interested in anything that we offer, um, there is a link for the tackle box. That will take you to our Etsy page where we sell at. There's also a link for uh, Swamp Swag. Uh, that's t-shirts, hats, stuff like that. And uh, I'd appreciate any uh, any likes and subs. And thank everybody that's uh, come in and subbed here recently. Um, we're growing slowly. And I very much appreciate everybody. Um, would like to leave some comments. Uh, anything you'd be interested in seeing. And I try to show some molds that uh, you usually don't see anywhere else. I've got a few different ones that you know are different from what other people have so let's go ahead and get started and uh, we'll bring you back in just a minute all right welcome back um, this color that we're going to do right here um, very little pigment um, everybody knows the classic well a lot of people know the classic morning dawn which is a purple over a pink um, I have turned around and made a, just a solid color out of it. I'm going to start out with is MF Hot Pink. And four drops. I've got uh, about seven-eighths of a cup of uh, dead-on worm blend. And then I'm going to add in two drops of dead-on red rum. And that's all the pigment I'm going to put in there. All right, you can see that it's a nice pink. And then I'm going to add in some medium purple, and this will darken it up just a little bit. So, this is an eighth of a teaspoon, I want a quarter. So we're going to put two in there. And they are leveled off just a little bit. And see how that darkened it up. It's amazing how the flake will change the pigment. You really can't see the pink there too much, but it will uh, show up good in the baits. So, let me go ahead and get this warm back up, get it through the vacuum chamber again, and uh, we'll be right back when we go to shoot. Alright, so we're getting ready to take it out of the vacuum chamber. And the mold that we're going to be using, I call it the thump grub, is what I call it. It is a CNC mold. From do it molds um, I don't know the actual name off of it off the top of my head so but I call it the thump grub so here we go and I like to flash the top of it with the flame take any bubbles off the top of it now I have noticed that this mold shoots better with a little bit cooler of a plastic. We're sitting about 310, 311. And 
and it does not take much to fill this mold up. Top the sprue off one time, it doesn't sink down that much, so that's the only time we'll have to top it off. And it won't take too long for that to cool off. Flash them bubbles off the top of that. Put it in the mic, keep it uh, keep it a little bit warm. Get all my stuff picked up. So you can still see that pink. You got that purple in there. There you go, there's your thicker body. So you get that morning dawn look of the purple and pink laminate with using the pink and putting the purple flake in it. So Give that just a minute to firm up. It says a small mold, it doesn't take too long to firm up. Um, it cools down rather quickly. And we're going to shoot all of the baits for this order. Uh, I'm not going to do the mix up of all the colors, um, but I will show you opening the mold. Uh, of each color as we go through them. So, I think she should be good to go. And there is my solid color called Morning Dawn. So we'll show you opening the other molds uh, as we do them, and uh, we'll see y'all in just a minute. All right, and here be the Goby color. All right, and here is the salsa. All right, and our fourth color is Plum Crazy. All right, so here's our four bags of thump grubs. I got a bit of a reflection. Thank you all for coming in and joining. Y'all have a good day. Peace.